Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is iGuitarD2744 here today with a quick rundown of every single feature that came out with iOS 6. Uh, this event just ended WWDC 2012. I was slightly disappointed, but for the most part, it was a kind of good event. They were trying to stall some time with some Siri updates and stuff like that throughout the event. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with some of the things introduced in iOS 6. First things first, Siri updates. Siri pulls in sports updates from Yahoo. And like I said, this was something that where they just kept on asking questions questions over and over again obviously just trying to buy time throughout the event siri has better restaurant integration and yelp integration it also uh has movie support and is now partnered with rotten tomatoes so you're able to look up things like trailers uh what movies have what actors in them and for say you want a specific actor in a specific movie uh you can ask them you know what uh People have Will Smith, what movies have Will Smith in them, and so on. Uh, Siri can now launch applications, which is a big update, something I'm really excited. So you can go ahead and say something like, uh, play Angry Birds, and it'll go ahead and actually launch the application through Siri. Uh, and by the way, did I mention Siri is available for the iPad third generation? No other devices will be supported at this time, but for the iPad third generation, it will be available. They also did some integration in the MacBooks, uh, in the Macs actually, and basically that's just Siri dictation, nothing really special just the dictation part of it in the MacBooks. But like I said, for the iPad third generation, we will be getting full Siri support in iOS 6. Uh, also, there will be more integrated things like uh, they're actually saying that they're going to be integrating Siri into mini cars. They're partnered with a ton of car brands and they plan to actually put a Siri button on the steering wheel of these cars so you can use it, what they call is eyes free with your device. Next thing is Facebook integration. Just sign in once in the settings and everything is set up just like Twitter. Uh, you can share photos, links, maps, iTunes, links, and Game Center content over Facebook easily. Once again, an easier way for you to give your information to Facebook. Uh, RSVP'd. Facebook events automatically added into your calendar on your iOS device, which is very handy. And also phone numbers will appear in contact lists. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work. What if it syncs all the phone numbers on your Facebook that are connected to Facebook with all your friends? I don't want 500 some phone numbers on my Facebook, uh, in my contacts on my phone. It's just... It doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, we're going to have to see how that works. Uh, redone phone application. The phone application on the iPhone app will uh, set a reminder for you to call someone back. So if you don't call them, or if you don't pick up their phone, you can click remind me to call back in 15, 25, whatever minutes. Uh, you can also put it on do not disturb mode, which will block out certain contacts from contacting you between certain amount of times and so on. Uh, and also two calls in a row will be sent when you're doing emergency calls. So if you're calling somebody, it'll send two back-to-back -back calls to make sure you're able to get a hold of that person in case of an emergency. Uh, next thing we're going to be talking about is FaceTime over cellular. Yes, they did introduce FaceTime over cellular. So you're going to be able to, on your iPad, as well as your iPhone, you're going to be able to sit there on your 3G service with AT&T or whatever, and you're going to be able to FaceTime over cellular, which is pretty nice. You can also use Apple ID and your phone number at the same exact time with FaceTime now. Uh, also, let's go ahead and talk about Safari and the iCloud iCloud tab integrated into Safari in iOS 6 and in Mountain Lion, so you're able to do things like share photos and upload photos straight to Safari and so on, which is kind of cool. More iCloud integration gives me more of a reason to go out and actually use iCloud. Next thing is Photo Stream. Uh, you can now choose the photos and friends you'd like to share the photos with, uh, and then you're done. That's basically it. You share the photos with a group of people, and it allows them to comment on the photos as well as you can share uh, the photos and then comment on them. Uh, it's also available on the Mac, Apple TV, and on the web, so it will be working on the iOS devices as well. Uh, mail VIPs are now available, so you can star your emails for some more frequent contacts that email you. Uh, you can also... There are also two new inboxes, which include VIP and the flagged boxes, which really I don't know how to work yet. We're gonna, I'm going to have to get my hands on iOS 6 to go ahead and tell you guys more about this stuff, which, by the way, every uh, key feature that we've done run down here, like Siri updates, Facebook integration, and so on, I'll be making a video on each individual feature uh, through the base categories. So I'll do a video for Facebook integration, a video for a redone iPhone app, and so on. Uh, when I do get my hands on the iOS 6 beta, which will be soon, probably within this week, obviously. Uh, next thing we have is new app called 
Passbook. Now this depends on who you are, whether or not you're gonna be using it. I probably won't have a use for it, but some of you guys who run a business and travel a lot might need to use this Passbook application. And I'm not sure whether or not this is gonna be a built-in application or it's gonna be available in the App Store, but basically it allows you to get all of your uh, passes in one place. So your boarding passes, tickets, and coupons, they'll all be in one application, which is kind of nice if you're going to things like Starbucks, uh, if you use Fandango, uh, United, Amtrak, uh, and of course the Apple retail stores. It's going to be nice to go ahead and use this with those stores and so on because you'll be able to track coupons and prices and boarding passes and stuff like that. Uh, it also shows the account balances. Let's go ahead and move on to the Maps application. We expect some updates with Maps on iOS, and it appears that Apple may have tossed Google to the side. Uh, now they've partnered with other mapping companies. They have a traffic database within the Maps application itself. It totally looks different. Uh, new graphics, new a lot of stuff, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. By the way, that will be navigated by the one and only Siri voice, so that's kind of great. Uh, like I said, turn-by-turn, -turn, that's just great. Uh, and also, the Google announced last week something very similar to this, and then they kind of backed it up with something that a lot of people may think are is better. But like I said, Siri support within Maps is pretty cool. You can ask it more so on the lines of not how I get somewhere, but it can also navigate you places. You can say something like, are we there yet? And it'll say, relax, whatever. It'll be about 15 minutes until you're there, which is kind of really cool with the Maps application itself. So that's pretty much what went down in iOS 6. Like I said, some of the key things were the Siri updates, especially that now it's available for the iPad third generation, FaceTime over cellular, the further Facebook integration, just like Twitter, except a little bit more integrated, I want to say. Uh, you also have some Safari, the iCloud updates, photo stream, not a whole heck of a lot of amazing new things, but they did say that there were 200 new features, as they said, in iOS 5, so there are over 2,000, or over 200, I apologize, new features in iOS 6, and I'd be interested in testing out iOS 6, and as soon as I get my hands on it, like I said, I will be doing videos more detailed on the features. Thanks for watching everybody. This is iGuitardi 2744. Go ahead and hit that subscription button above to see those uh, further iOS integration features and so on when I do get my hands on iOS 6. Like I said, I will be doing a video over it. This is in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So check out my website, iOSnova.com. Thank you for those of you guys who followed me on Twitter to go ahead and stay up to date with the live stream that I was doing on Twitter, basically a live feed of what was going on at the event at WWDC 2012. Uh, WWDC 2012 will remain going on all week, so there could be some awesome workshops and stuff, mainly for the developers out there, but we might learn something new. Who knows? Uh, I expect to get access to iOS 6 pretty soon. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching. I can tell you 2744.